All right, Year 8 Technology Doorstop Project, June 2022. Uh, tools and equipment in creating a timber doorstop using radiator pine, featuring a front face, a single dovetail joint, and a base wedge that inserts underneath the door itself. Okay, so the front face of the doorstop is 12 millimeters thick, while the base wedge is 19 millimeters thick. Note here the construction of lines to mark out the beginnings of the taper at the back. which is firstly cut out using the tenon saw and then refined afterwards using the hand plane. Included here is a number of um, tools for cutting and shaping both panels, including here the tenon saw, coping saw, A range of chisels. Here we have 19 mil wide, 13 mil wide. A range of files from flat, curved, square and round. These are used according to the shape of the front face. And you're marking out tools using your square lead pencil uh, as well as sandpaper here with a sanding block. Beginning with our grittiest, rougher sandpaper, which is 80 grit. This diagram demonstrates the cutting out process, beginning with the coping saw. Uh, you can also use a tenon saw uh, on 12 mil timber. Um, but essentially, the red lines are cut lines or relief lines, uh, which you make by rotating the timber and cutting down to the blue outline a few cuts at a time, rotating the shape of this figure in your vise. From the relief cuts, then using the coping saw, you can cut along the outside blue line using the coping saw and as you cut you reach each of the red line and a small piece of timber or tooth of the timber will fall out. This takes the pressure off the uh, thin coping saw blade and allows it to uh, um, uh, direct itself and turn corners along each shape of your um, design outline. This is a rear view of your base wedge. A note here um, that the first that the taper is cut down to half the thickness of the timber. So half of 19 mil is nine and a half millimeters. Again, here's some more marking out with the uh, construction lines in green and the outline of the base wedge. Uh, in blue. Note that the timber itself is 150 millimeters long uh, and it's um, 52 millimeters wide. So the single dovetail tenon uh, is essentially it's a finger joint which is 20 millimeters wide with left and right wedges. That's the triangular pieces here, which are four mil wide at the top. So altogether, the front of the dovetail tenon is 28 millimeters, reducing down to 20 millimeters at the bottom. So two questions. Can you use a coping saw to cut a straight line? Well, that's not what it's designed to do. 
It's designed to cut out curves. It has a very thin blade. Which rotates as you rotate your hand while sawing with one hand on the handle and the other hand on the hilt above the outside pin. So use the coping saw for cutting out the outside shape on your um, front face. You can also use it after you use the tenon saw to cut out the perimeters of uh, your mortise or the negative space inside um, the front face. You can use the uh, coping saw to remove some of the inner material. Okay, and lastly, in cutting out um, the dovetail joint, after you use the tenon saw to cut the basic shape and you're refining the corners and edges, what's the best tool for the job? Is it the files? Or is it the chisels? It's definitely the chisels. This will give you a straight edge. The files are refining and rounding the edges of the outside of your front face. Not to be used internally for your joints. Otherwise, it will weaken your joint. And lastly, um, to help refine the taper on the back end of uh, the base wedge, most of uh, the smoothing will be done with the hand plane, which will take small slices of timber off at a time. This is resting on a board so that protects the blade underneath from being damaged on the bench. Uh, what you can do as well after using the plane if there is any rough edges left and there is a saw mark left here, is you can turn it upside down and rub it smooth um, on the sanding pad. So this pad has 80 grit sandpaper. All you need to do is to clamp this to the bench using a bench hook and you can rub this uh, quite in a refined way. All right, looking forward to um, uh, seeing the next video uh, where these works will be completed possibly some student examples as well, and seeing how the doorstop works um, in an area of need.